I have re- I'm I record begin what press button press in the, the beginning in 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 the beginning there was in the beginning in the beginning there was this uh. huge huge it was huge okay everybody welcome back to the we are not only podcast we are on episode 8 Again, we have no idea what we're going to be talking about, but let's do this. We don't know if it's the episode 8. It is episode 8. You don't know I that. Don't. <laughs> Actually, technically it's episode 7. But we have the lost episode. Yeah. Whose fault was that? that? Yeah, okay, so <laughs> <laughs> Whose fault was that? You know mine. Mine. Why you know but everything you do, bro? Why do we have to go over this dude? I will kick your ass in AOE, okay? Oh uh, yeah, right. AOE you think one, you would two, kick three, my three, ass? Four. You wish I you had this chubby bum bums, bro. I think I've proved adequately and beyond reasonable doubt that I have chubby bum bums myself. <laughs> you don't have chubby bum bums. You have Just give me a You have give me a rock give me a hard Hold up, hold up, give me a second. Yes, so listen. We had this thing about uh, you want to talk about like cover music, I guess. Yes, did you? Remember? Yeah, sure. Why not? Fuck cover music. <laughs> What? We used to play cover music. <laughs> fuck, fuck cover. And there's music. a huge market in like I believe Goa where cover music sells really well. As in, oh, like, cover music cover sells music. really well in general, though, because like yeah. for some reason. Uh, I think like people like hearing like I hate saying this word but other people's like versions of of like uh of an or- the original song. Yeah. Um I wouldn't say interpretation but like yeah. Okay, uh, b- before I, I don't I don't want this podcast to get like really negative like this episode specifically but i just want to i just want to point <laughs> out that okay okay <laughs> i just want to point out this is <laughs> this is what i this is what i this, this is like it's not, it's not really a pet peeve Speak but your truth, king. this is this is like not a pet peeve but like it's more like it's more like it's more like a strong uh strong i'm i'm trying to find i'm trying to find like a word that is like i want to like really you know Uh, I don't I don't want it to be like really mean. I have a strong um hate for <laughs> <laughs> strong hate for people saying mm. saying stuff like oh uh this is this is my version of the song uh, as if uh as if they wrote the song. Do you know what I mean? And I hate that. I really hate that. You can say like I interpret the song like this way. This is how I felt. When I say it, but no, no, this is my version of the song. I arranged it like this. I really fucking hate that, dude. I really hate that. I just don't like it when I hear like hear that. I'm like, okay, but like these but words are not. But did you write not, the song? Like these words are not yours, though. Like uh, you don't understand. Like if you haven't uh, written a song, right? Then uh-huh. you will not understand that. I don't know it just important it it just feels like cuz like when you write a song right okay and uh, when an artist write a song they have a certain mind that they a certain like mindset they go in and certain colors they follow right and i feel like for a song that color is like really important you know what i mean and do you have and and to say that i've r- arranged it and i have you know made this my own like i feel i feel really annoyed when i hear that it's just i feel like to those people i feel like saying like can you write a song then because like most of the people who are really good at cover mu- music right they are normally not good at writing their own stuff and even if they do it's not great there are only like few exceptions there are a few artists who like popped off of cover music made their own stuff and it's just amazing but yeah most of the stuff like how long has this been building up inside of you? it's it's since our you know college days I've, i just i just hate that when pe- people say that cuz like whenever we do like solos and shit when they introduce they would always say like oh this is my version and this is i arranged it i i i i'm like 
all right bro like that that just grinds my gears it unsettles you my scroll what well, what <laughs> really it shows you scroll is that what no, you said no i said it unsettles my scroll why does it unsettle you Unsettle your thro- scroll. Can't you just say like? Unsettle these nuts across your face. <laughs> no, bro, that doesn't really work. Yeah, but I've made it work. That's the point of it. You these have to say, so- "I must settle these nuts on your face." No, no, no. Little it's freaking unsettle. Dirt. Unsettle. No, I must settle. These I use the word unsettle, unsettle say, so you have to use these unsettle. Nuts on your no, no, face. no, no, no. That's not how it, this is. This is you're a noob. That's why you don't know. Like with a decent oh, joke, oh, you have to how, use the word. This is how you defend yourself from making a really shitty joke. Okay, no, no, no. You're just a noob. It's okay. I understand. FF go it's next, okay. dude. FF go next, dude. Yeah, just FF. You go, go next. next. Have you thought about that? I always go next, dude. Huh? I always go next. Ariana Where? Grande. Thank you. Go next. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, you don't get the reference. That that's because you're I, a nope. No. You're a dope. It's a song, I you're guess, or something that Ariana Grande <laughs> did. I don't All right. know. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I. I don't get me wrong. I like our music, right? It no, it doesn't. You hate it. it doesn't. But no, I just hate the people who say stuff like that. Cause there are some songs okay. that I like, like covered, okay. like that song. Okay. Um, what's that song? By Sia. It's called Snowman, I think. And okay. I just Was hate the original version. Okay. Like you know when when a singer sings, but. There, there is like a lack of soul. You know that the singer is like a good singer, but the game just they're just the paycheck. Yeah, and also like it, it, it just sounds like they're just trying to flex their like runs and flex their like vocal abilities. You know what I mean? Okay. So that's okay. what Snowman see the song Snowman by Sia sounds like the original version. Oh. Like she's just doing her like she's just like flexing her like vocal cord, and I think that's fine. But like. For a song like that, right? Mm-hmm. Um, it I feel like it needs because the the words in the song is so like heartfelt. I feel I I feel like, and it it requires the soul which like Sia didn't give, and I feel like she really didn't like the song and she just did it like you said for the paycheck. But yeah, but the cover songs, my God, is so good. It is so good. There's so much soul in it. I mean, not all of them, but. But yeah, um, let me, uh, if you don't mind, let me, let me um, read out the words in that song. I want you to know that I'm never leaving because I'm Mr. Snow till death will be freezing. Yeah, you are my home, my home for all seasons. You know what I mean? And, w- and one of the parts, this is like the pre-chorus, I think. Uh, let's go okay. below zero and hide from the sun. I love you forever where, uh, where we'll have some fun. Yes, let's hit the North Pole and live happily. Please, please don't mm. don't cry no tears now. It's Christmas, baby. It's like, the, okay, it's, the, it's, it's it's got some emotional. Yeah, impact. but and okay. and Sia is just like grunting and singing that shit, and I'm like, <laughs> and I'm like, just oh my god, like why? And and Did thankfully it? I heard the cover song first, and okay. normally when I hear a cover song, right, I would check out the real version. <laughs> okay. A grill, but <laughs> I just go and check out the original version and see if it's if, if it's like good or like better or, or like whatever. You would check the original version, the real version, yeah, and see if it's better, yeah, or worse. see if it's better and see if it's see if it's you know the best version. And okay. yeah, and I hated it, I hated the original version, it was just bad. That's enough, dude. So yeah, like I I have so I have, have so many issues with cover songs, but like I I feel like when people uh, credit the source material by singing it, you know, by not making it lose uh, the colors of the song, right? And I feel and I feel like that's that's good, and you can still put your own flares to it. I think that's fine, but like as as a songwriter, right? I feel like okay. I feel like people. Like who do cover songs, right? They don't really understand that. Like, to, 
I don't know. I'm like speechless actually. Because like, I, if I if I keep talking, right, I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna get gonna like lose it. I'm gonna lose it with cover songs, right? People who do cover songs, uh, ma- uh, majority of them, not all of them, right? Majority of them, they uh-huh. they are so used to the cover songs that they don't really like uh, like to write stuff on their own because, uh, um when they write stuff on their own it's not as good as the like cover song and they hate that i know how that feels because i used to sing cover songs a lot and i never like used to write i didn't believe in like writing songs for myself and i thought like that is supposed to be for the greatest like the greatest of the great right and Mm -hmm. i know like most cover singers like think like that here's the thing though stop fucking thinking like that anybody can write anybody can write and in order for you to write good right you need to keep on like writing like shit stuff first. You can't you can't just be good in the get go. If you are, then congratulations, you're born with a gift. But most of us, you need to write constantly writing so that you can get good. And when you start writing, right, and still sing cover song, you will start to understand what the artist is trying to like trying to say, or at least at least like the the artist like mindset. So when you do the cover, you'll you'll be more true to the source material, if that makes any sense. And 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 most people like don't understand that. It's not just about like getting a good mix. It's not just about it's not just about like getting your your right scale or or like the right scale for you to sing. Uh so so that it's like more comfortable with your voice. Like I when a writer writes a song there is a certain mindset that goes through it you can interpret in your own in your own like in your own way and the, the how you heard the song or how you like see the meanings of the song cuz like art is like subjective right but mm-hmm. also at the same time you need to understand where the artist is coming from when they sing a certain song right you can't just come out and say like this is my version and fuck up the whole like flow and the color of the song. I fucking hate that. Okay, so who, which, which? Uh, I have two questions. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, the first one's a question. The second one's more of an angry, outrageous statement. It's like an outburst at something you said. Okay, for sure. Okay? So first, I'm gonna ask you the question like a civilized person. Okay. Show that I've been listening to you and not just waiting for a speech, chance okay, to I, speak. I think I've triggered him. All right, go. <laughs> No, like, so what was the cover song that you listened to that led you on this run, man? Because okay, I'm yeah. sure that okay, okay. how many, mm-hmm. how many have mm-hmm. you listened to? Or was it one particular incident or was it just a series of unfortunate events? It, it mostly is a series of unfortunate events. Here's the thing. Like I said, I used to like, like singing cover songs. I mean, do like cover mu- music, right? And mm-hmm. so... That would mean that I hear a lot of cover artists, right? So my okay. YouTube subscription was filled with like people doing like cover songs. Oh, right. I'm not gonna name any names right now, but one of the name is Walk Off the Earth. Okay. <laughs> you just thought you said you weren't naming any names. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Walk Walk Off the Earth is their amazing group. I'm I'm just kidding. Uh, that was a joke. But yeah, so I I would follow a lot of like cover artists right and i would think like they're like really really amazing and shit but okay once i started writing right i my opinions of them like started changing you know it's the thing okay. is they kind of hide their incompetence <laughs> with like a good mix and i fucking hate that i hate that so much dude uh, ironically i'm doing that right now for other oh Oh. Artists? Oh! <laughs> Ironically, I'm doing oh, that. Oh, so that's... What, no, like something just clicked in my head and I realized where all this anger is coming yeah, from sure. to use the, uh, something that you use, say, a lot. Mm-hmm. Okay? Tell me. This is one of your favorite dialogues. Where is this coming from, dude? Mm-hmm. Who got you? This is yeah, where is this coming from? Tell so, me. this is coming from two years... No, wait. 2019, you started to mix. So, this is coming from three years of your experience as a... As a sound engineer. By the way, I started mixing in 2017. 
just telling you, letting you know. Five years of experience as a sound engineer. Mm, no, it's it's not that. I mean, that was that just added on to the thing, but that was not the source of my, all of this um, thing. <laughs> mm, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's it's mostly me like experience. realizing that cover artists, most of the cover artists are like they don't stay dog too shit. true to the source material. I didn't want to say dog shit, but I'm just trying to put it lightly here. You know, I detest them. <laughs> just trying to put not all of them, not all of them, because they are like no, good, uh, good cover artists who became big. Like for example, uh, Daniela Andrande, very amazing cover artist. She would turn any song into like a slow song, and that was her interpretation of the song. And she stayed true to the source material. And now she doesn't even sing like cover songs anymore she just makes her own stuff and it's amazing if you guys haven't if you guys don't know daniela and Randy, go check her out she's shout out she, she's amazing she's amazing amazing i've see the cover artists i used to follow back then right uh-huh. now when i see it right with all this like copyright and shit right uh-huh they just they they just couldn't like adapt because they they don't make like original stuff which is sad, dude. I feel like all of you, all of us, okay, <laughs> has Why the potential. Why you say all of you? Huh? Is this something about? No, I'm talking about the cover attack? artists. When huh? I say you, is when this I a personal attack. When I say all of do you, you I meant you the people me? who are doing cover art. If you want to do cover artists, that's fine because there are uh, like there are a lot of people like doing cover artists and making a lot of money, right? And that's fine. That's fine. But I, I think this is what I have to say. If you're doing oh, music, right, at least try <laughs> to make one song for yourself. You don't have to make it for, like, everyone. Just try to make one for yourself. And do you understand the thought process of making a song? It's, I feel like it's, it's really amazing. It's, the process is really amazing. And I, I can't really explain how the process goes because, like, each song has a different process of making it. And that's the beauty of, make, like, creating art. And it's, it's just, like... It's something that words can't like describe. You have to experience on your own. The only thing that I could say is like, it's kind of like making food, right? Say you're you're making like chicken every day, right? Like, right, and you use the same shit. So it's that's like song writing. But when you want to try something new, right? You 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 try a different approach, right? So it's kind of like that. But it's not exactly that. But that's the only thing that I could. But what if I'm like vegetarian and I don't know how to cook chicken? Yes, if you're Does a vegetarian, then if songs? you're a vegetarian, for all the vegetarian people, here's the thing: what whatever food that you like, you make that every day, right? And you want to have some spice in it the next day, right? You stick to a recipe and then you get good enough that you can exactly. do things without that, the recipe. Thank you. Thank you for a- adding that. Your First of all, your foundation needs to be like concrete, right? In order for you to build up. So I feel like just start writing. That's my advice I can give you. Just start writing. Be shit at it. That's fine. Because cause like anybody who started writing, I'm sure like majority of us, our first songs was shit. My first song was shit. It was shit. But I kept like going. I kept like writing because it, it was so fun. It was so fun to like create. Just, it's like pulling, just pulling out, pulling out fucking content out of your ass. Like, <laughs> it's, it's an amazing feeling. Not gonna lie. I still, I still feel nice like writing. I'm like, yo, like this shit is insane. Like sometimes you would like surprise yourself. When you write something, right? You would surprise okay. yourself. Like you'd be thinking something and something just comes in your head and you sh- and you immediately write it and you're like, yo, shit, this line is like amazing. This is such so a I nice... I believe that like... Yeah? Or uh, that thing that you just described where like a line walks into your head. I know it's supposed... This is just a meme. I'm memeing at the hardcore Christians. People say, that's the devil talking to you. Because I would have that, right? Like <clears throat> when I was in school... We had a matron who was a hardcore Christian. And like, if I wrote down a line that just came to me out of nowhere, and she was like, did that come to you out of nowhere? And she'd be like, that's the devil speaking to you, my child. All right, ignore all that. Uh, anyway, so like, uh, we, uh, what I'm trying to say is like, you can, you can write it. Everybody has a potential. Like nobody is built like differently. 
I mean, people say I, I that I'm built differ. different, but I beg to differ because I feel, like pretty much I just, everyone I've met in Valorin seems to be built different. <laughs> you keep telling me that, and I need <laughs> to know what it means. <laughs> this is true. Okay. No, you keep but the thing me, is, Dude, like, like greatness is not something like you can you can have, like it's not something that is given to you. You can like attain it. Is what I'm saying. And you attain greatness. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that you can so write I the have greatest song. I'm not saying that program that you can. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Uh, so okay, stop listen cutting me off. Stop cutting me off. Comments. It's so fucking annoying to like uh, mute you and uh, to, to when I'm speaking, please. Okay, so no. Uh, here's a uh, the greatness is not something like it's given to anyone. Like it's easily attainable, is what I'm saying. And it's it could it could attainable. mean it could mean like different for everybody. Not not just like the ex uh so so socially acceptable way of like greatness or whatever having a lot of money none of that shit you know greatness could be something that like something like you want to write one song and that is it for you do you know what I mean so so don't be scared to like write. Like when you start writing, like right, and if you wanna like be like big or whatever with cover uh, stuff, cover mu mu music, your cover music or your approach to it at least will be so much different, like ten times different. Like like trust me on this, cause I've experienced this shit. But I used to love like right, just like singing cow cover songs. I I hate it like writing as well. It's it's not it's not something I I I planned to do, but I started doing it, and it and it's just it's just the create the creation of it. My God, it's it's something else, man. I that's why I I do what I do. Like it's it I I can't find that shit anywhere. I try to do it with other stuff. I I mean I still do, but the 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 satisfaction you get right writing a song creating this whole like like universe in your head right or at least a uh, a scenario that that is so like insane like the feeling is so insane and people who say this is my version of a cover song fuck you it's not <laughs> stop saying that is like your own song stop it 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 unsettles my scroll Yeah, you were saying. What? I wasn't saying anything. Who said that? <clears throat> yeah, you were saying you had some points. Who suggested? You have some points. Who suggested you had some point. that I had points? You had some to points. Add. Is that? Hmm? Who suggested that? Did anything in my behavior suggest that I have thoughts? Yeah. I pull things out of my scroll. That's wrong. Maybe for you. How dare you? Don't did you don't judge? Okay, so here's what's the thing. Okay, you went on this. How long have we been recording? Twenty mm. minute love letter, I guess. Is it twenty minutes? Looks like twenty minutes to me. You went on this twenty minute love letter to creativity. Mm-hmm. Was it a love letter? All right. Yeah, I mean, essentially, it's a love letter to greatness and creativity. At the same time, you went on a. I I guess this should, <laughs> this could constitute as hate speech against, um, what's that name? Cover like, artist. It's not yeah, really yeah, a that, hate that. music. If you like cover artist, that's fine, and if you do cover music, I think that's fine. But I just I just want to say that don't say that w- one song is like your song. Like, don't say it, it's my version as if. Like you're insinuating that it's my song. Don't say that because that unsettles his crew. Yeah, it does, and it and it, Lee, it just grind. It just it just pisses me off. Yeah, and when like when when his crew is unsettled, bad things happen. Yeah, bad things happen. See, the last time his crew was unsettled, I I wait, we wait, wait, lost wait. episode one before that. That is not my that is not my fault. It was <laughs> it was your fault. Uh, so. <laughs> When I say uh, like unsettled my scroll, I'm just trying to like joke and try to make light of the you know, whatever I said. But it just pisses me off to keep it to put it straight with y'all, you know. So just don't I wanna, like. Mm-hmm. No, you were saying. No, no, Sorry, no. I no, thought no. you were like you. No, no, no. I, 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 I don't. Like you're gonna go I, back. I don't. I don't wanna cut you off. 
I it, cut you off. It's, I'm it's sorry. so, so it's so annoying finish. to like mix like cutting each other off. That is so annoying to mix. So go on. Do you just realize that that's a conversation pattern? It's not. It is not for this podcast. <laughs> not for the podcast, but then we're gonna have to practice this in real exactly, life. Exactly, exactly. Okay. So go on. <laughs> what? You're just gonna cut me off the next time we speak over the phone, anyway. I Why are you cap- pretending? Dude, I like, am the captain now. We're gonna have to practice now. conversation like I am a beings. captain now. I can cut okay? whatever I want. We're gonna have to do that. Just FYI. Okay. This is also a very good advice. Mm-hmm. To anybody who's trying to quit masturbation, mm-hmm. just don't touch it. Yep, don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. It's not worth it. Yeah, it's not worth it. <laughs> just go away. Just go feel out. shame. I don't know. I don't know how like girls feel because we are not girls, but for boys, I, or or men, or we just breath. we just feel like oh, uh, we just feel shame <laughs> after the fact. The aftermath of a post nut is like shame. You just feel it's like shame. your ancestors looking yeah. down. Yeah, <laughs> it's just bad. Okay, you were saying. Yes. Yeah, so you said <clears throat> something about greatness. Mm-hmm. All right, and you. I lost the exact context. I should have written this down. Mm-hmm. Right. But I said something along the line of uh, greatness is something. Easy. It's not. It's not unattainable. It's not something that's given to like someone as yeah, a gift. Yeah, you said it's not. Said. It's not something that's given. You have to go out and get it. Yeah, yeah. You have to work on it and stuff. Mm-hmm. But you also insinuated at some point that it's easy. Yeah. Right, mm-hmm. but like, that's not true. Okay. okay. Elaborate. Uh, I will elaborate. But before that, I'm going to talk about what you said. Right. Mm-hmm. So you spoke about greatness, mm-hmm. and I'm going to use it. Use that in a different context. Well. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about it in the terms of success. Mm-hmm. Okay, I believe there's this book called *The Strangest Secret*, mm-hmm. where I think there's an audio book that's been narrated by Earl Nightingale. Okay, don't care. What's your point? I'm talking about weight. I'm giving context. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is going to be mentioned. I'm giving. I'm. I'm quoting my sources, mm-hmm. and he describes success. As a progressive realization of a worthy idea, mm-hmm. okay. I know this because I've listened to this audio several times, mm-hmm. right? And what you said, right? Mm-hmm. After that, immediately after that, maybe you set out to make one song, mm-hmm. and you do it, mm-hmm. and that's great, mm-hmm. right? So I'm saying yes, that is great because mm-hmm. you set a goal mm-hmm. and you achieved it. Mm-hmm. Maybe along the way you realize. That's not exactly what you want. Okay. Maybe in the process of making a song, you realize that song making perhaps is not a real thing, mm-hmm. and maybe it's mixing and mastering or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know you, but essentially, you fix an idea, you work toward the idea, mm-hmm. and then you course correct mm-hmm. depending on the feedback you get while you're working on it. Okay. But that's the most important thing. You you said that thing about. You set out to write one song as you plan to, and that's great. Mm-hmm. And I say yes, that's great. That's also success mm-hmm. because you planned something and you achieved it, mm-hmm. and that's what is important. Mm-hmm. And you also said something about it's not what greatness is not what society tells you mm-hmm. is greatness. Like a lot of money in your bank account mm-hmm. is. Do you have a lot of money in your bank account, and is that money keeping you fulfilled, or? Are you breaking your head, wondering if you're gonna lose all that money, and you're living a life that's just one business meeting to the next, and you have no idea if you're enjoying yourself? Mm-hmm. You know, if that seems like success, if that seems like something you want, then mm-hmm. go for it. Mm-hmm. Now I lost the point of the conversation, so I will respectfully decline to comment any further. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. Uh, you you're supposed to comment on the greatness is easy part, uh, but here's yeah. The, so yeah, regarding that, uh-huh. greatness is not easy. Uh-huh. Okay, mediocrity, mediocrity uh-huh. is easy. Greatness is not. Here's here here's what I mean when I said that. Uh, uh when I when you say one song, uh, you've misquoted some of the part, which is fine. Uh, that's okay. Uh, no, which part did I misquote? Uh, about writing one song and that's great. Uh, what I mean was. I uh, not mean I said that, specifically that you when you're doing a cover song I said specifically for cover ar- artists you need to write one song first to understand 
the writing process so that when you do a cover song, it makes sense. It 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 it, it becomes like ten times better because you're understanding the writing process. And greatness is not something that is given to anyone. Greatness is something that is easily attainable. And hear me yeah, out. Yeah, that's the. Part hear that hear me I out. When I say greatness, you say like um. What did you say? Uh, it's uh, something worth uh, attaining. Oh, the you success. Quote, quoted. Okay. Uh, um, the best definition of success is the progressive realization of a worthy idea. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, when you say greatness, right? Okay. What if writing that one song is a worthy idea for that person? It was for me, right? That is yeah, greatness so, for okay. that yeah. person. That's what I mean. That is what I mean. Do you know what I mean? For okay, me, for me right now, greatness, okay. greatness, yeah. is, greatness is streaming games and making songs. That's it. And that's it for me. If people like it, fine. If they don't like it, I'm fine with that too. What exactly do you mean by greatness? I think we're going to have to define that. Because I give you a definition of what I understood greatness as, like in the context that you've used it. Yeah, uh, you it, just mentioned something worthy, be, something worthy, something worthy, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it should be, uh, you could replace that with success. Yeah, but something worthy yeah. or something of value, right? Okay. For that person. That's what I mean, bro. Okay. That's what I mean. I yeah, just explained but, okay. it to you. Yeah, writing okay, one so, song yeah. what if that is like something of value like greatness because people when people think greatness right they think like all this fame fortune and shit it's not that dude it is not that if you want that then yeah but for everybody it's different okay, that's so what I'm that, think- that's the point I was I was, I was like uh, trying to uh, make okay and I think okay, I did so then I think you need to use the, a different word because like greatness is that's probably why That's definitely why I got confused because that's not what greatness means. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because like if you substitute like the word success Mm -hmm. with greatness Mm -hmm. in your context, Mm -hmm. whatever you just said, Mm -hmm. right? For example, you said for me, greatness is streaming, Mm -hmm. enjoying myself, having a good time while streaming, Mm -hmm. something like that. Right? No, streaming and making songs. That's, that's, that's streaming, making songs, yeah, and having a good pay time while doing bro. it. You need to pay attention. I do. Mm-hmm. I I literally like summarized it. No, you said. Do you, would you do this if you didn't have you said fun? You said be be uh be uh, streaming and uh having fun. Having fun while doing it. No, I said streaming and making songs. Those are two different things. Because I was, like I making songs. I wasn't quoting too. you. I was summarizing what you said. Okay. Yeah, but don't you think like writing songs need to be included too in the summary? Yeah, 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 sure, sure, for sure. Yeah. So that's that's where I fell short. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. But instead of what you said, instead of saying greatness for that, you could have just said to me, success would mean. No, because because here's why the the no. reason why I use success because you use success to like switch with like greatness. Yes. Yeah, that's why no, I used you, it. That's why I used what, what it. I'm dude. saying, yeah, I'm saying that that's what you should use instead of greatness. That's all I'm saying. I'm saying like the word greatness that you used was wrong in in that context because that's not what greatness is about. Okay, what is greatness about then? Please enlighten me. It's about me. a concept or a state of superiority mm-hmm. that's affecting. I'm I'm reading the Wikipedia definition: mm-hmm. affecting a person or an object in a particular space or area. Mm-hmm. Or it can also be attributed to individuals who possess an ability to be better than all of the others in a particular field. Because mm-hmm. that's greatness. I think that definition is really flawed. It's really flawed. What do you mean? It's that, really flawed. That greatness what do you mean by the is word? really okay, you can't on. be you. Here's the thing: you can't be better at someone, like period. You can't be. There's always someone better than you. Always, even if you don't. Not know. necessarily. Yeah, uh, I, Not necessarily. I I refuse to I refuse to accept. <laughs> I refuse to Good. accept that because there is always gonna be someone better than you. Always. So that definition is really flawed. Like regardless then, of how good you become, greatness. then define I greatness. I just did. That is my definition of greatness, dude. That's that's flawed. That's not the right one. Yeah, but your the definition in the Wikipedia. Use the word. It's not. It's not right. 
Maybe people, what? maybe everybody should change it. The word. Yeah, like, this is what greatness. people are trying to do, man. I here's, swear to God, this the is thing. not the way. This is there the is always gonna be someone better than you. Always, no okay. matter how okay. good you become. I'm really good at like mixing. I'm really good at fixing like the vocals. But I know that there will be someone like better than me, or there is someone already like better than me. That idea of the 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 definition is really flawed, and is really that's outdated. the literal definition of the word greatness, dude. Mm-hmm. That's the word great, and that's what it's defined as. Yeah, so I know. I know. If if that's not the word you want to use, then use another word. No, I will use the word greatness. No, you're using words wrong. I am not using the words wrong. Yes, you are. I am not. I am not. Yes, you are, dude. I am no, not. No, you can't just change the meaning of words as you want to. No, I'm not like changing that's... the meaning. Yes, you did. I'm not. I'm not you like said it, the I'm not is the core, and that's not the what core, I mean by the it. core source of the meaning of the word is still there. I'm not changing the entire thing. No, okay, like let oh, wait. Go on. Define greatness, bro. I'm I gonna, just did. I'm going to write it down. I just and did. And I'm going to pick it apart one by one. I just compare, did. I'm going to compare it to the original greatness word. I just did. Dude, I can't just walk around what I'm, telling what I'm people saying that is black like, is red just because I define black as red. We have, we live in a society. <laughs> Here's the thing. Here's the thing. People, <laughs> this is this is the, the this is why I want to change the word because people think greatness is that like definition. I know it is. I know it is. But here's the thing, though. Greatness is subjective. It is. It really is. It really is okay, subjective. Okay, but the word greatness is not like the meaning of the word greatness is not subjective. You are taking you this to thing somebody, too literally. Listen, uh, this is th- why that's I, literally what words are supposed to is, be about. You is, take them th- literally. This is what because this is if you why, don't you say what you mean, if you say something else and mean something else by the words you say that, dude. Oh, like, I, completely agree, agree I completely agree. I completely agree with word, that. I completely agree with that. I'm not saying like you're 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 not uh, you're like wrong or anything. I'm I'm not saying that you're wrong. But what I'm saying is greatness is subjective. It really is. It really is subjective. Okay, so like, let me tell you where I agree with what you just said mm-hmm. and where I disagree. Go on. Okay, so when you apply greatness mm-hmm. to a person. Mm-hmm. Right? Would it be an adjective? Yeah? You're using it as a way to describe somebody. That guy is great. Or that girl is great. My grammar is you not that, that good. What's an adje- adjective? Adje- adje- adjective? It's a word to like describe something. Mm-hmm. Describing words. Mm-hmm. Like uh, verbs are doing words. Yeah. Action words. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> okay. I hope so people know that I'm joking. If you're using anyway. great to describe somebody... Mm-hmm. Like over there, maybe it's subjective because what does great really mean in context of this guy? Mm-hmm. What's so great about him? Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And so like like if someone's in love with somebody else, the mm-hmm. the entire perception of another person is colored by the act by the very act of being in love. Okay. So pretty much everything you see is through rose tinted glasses mm-hmm. and everything they do seems great. Mm-hmm. Right? But later on like after you've lived with them for like years Mm -hmm. those very things and this is actual research apparently like the very Mm -hmm. things that you fell in love with another person eventually becomes the things that drive you apart okay you know uh, oh she's so strong minded becomes she's still so she's so damn stubborn Mm -hmm. she doesn't like to change her mind Mm -hmm. same thing different way of looking at it right Mm -hmm. but the word Mm -hmm. itself Mm -hmm points to something and that something isn't subjective when you apply that word to somebody it could be subjective Mm -hmm. right okay so your point being my point being is like when you use the word great you're supposed to use it in a particular context okay and you don't you're not using it in that particular context is what okay you just mentioned that Greatness 
based on what did you say based on a person like if you if you like describe when you when you, it, when you use apply it, it to somebody when yeah, you apply yeah. it to somebody then it becomes subjective but the word itself means something and that what it means is not subjective all right if you hear you know back if you if you hear back what i said right if you hear back what i said you said the definition was flawed no no the definition is flawed but if you if you go back to the cover song where i did like my whole rant over there okay. you would realize that what i mean when i say greatness right it's attainable for that person the context was when writing a song do you get what i mean when okay. writing okay. Or when writing a okay. song and when writing the cover song uh okay. when writing an original song for yourself Okay. So I think this is just making my argument about you needing to use words better. Okay. A lot weightier. You know because like you said greatness greatness is literally a state of being the state of being great. Mhm. Because like either size skill achievement whatever a bar mm-hmm. right so if you meant some like you just said that in the context of writing songs if you write a song mm-hmm. and then you start go- getting back to doing cover songs mm-hmm. your ability uh, this is how i would have said it mm-hmm. right i think this uh, encapsulates what you're trying to say mm-hmm. uh your ability to cover songs in the way the artist intended them uh-huh. to convey the meaning of the songs becomes greater mm-hmm. right okay i did say that though you're just again summarizing what i mentioned yeah that, so that that shows i've been listening to what you've been saying mhm uh, but that but you said like that is accusation that i'm not listen, listening listen listen but you said that this is what you would have said but that is not what you would have said that is just you repeating what i said No, this is it what is. I would have said if I wanted to convey what you said. Mm-hmm. I would have used these words is what I mean. Okay, but I'm not you, to, Raj. To, yeah, dude, like but you need to use words <laughs> better is what I'm saying because you use what dude, like you don't understand what I'm saying. It's listen, like, listen. There are words. I'm not also I'm not being stubborn here. I know the meaning of the word, okay? I know the meaning of the word. I use it in that context because I know that that word, the definition of that word is flawed. Like I said, you can't in that definition, you can't like achieve greatness because there's always someone better than you. Always. Not, you can't ha- you no, can't have the attitude for it. But the definition is so flawed that nobody can ever achieve it because there will always be someone better than you. Always. And that person who's better than you there'll always be someone better than that person as well so that shit is not attainable it's not it's not like it, it's impossible that definition is impossible do you get what i'm trying to say there like a lot of things in this world are impossible like what people do them anyway then wh- how, why did you say impossible time- why did you say it's impossible then What's what's you, you said you, yeah. you said it's impossible Dude, like, but you can do it anyway. People told the right brothers that it's not it's impossible. Bro, that's the olden times I'm talking about now. Yeah. Okay. It it could be it it would have worked in the olden times but we're way past that. You can't you use that old stuff anymore, you know? Cuz it's What like you mean outdated. You can't use that old stuff anymore. It's, we're using the concept of the zero that came from Aryabhata. and that's pretty much part <laughs> all right all right systems. all right that, that that that's not what i meant i'm not i'm talking about i'm talking about back then when greatness the definition the definition of greatness actually worked but right now it's it's something that you can't attain because there is always someone better than you like that 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 is just the fact dude so the definition okay, itself the is thing, flawed if you look at dude like mhm go on you're saying the definition is flawed because you can't be better than anybody else ever yeah you can be better true. than yourself i agree 
Okay. Like you can. And that's 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 something that you should be working, working towards. Yeah. That's that's the that's the yardstick that you should measure measure yourself and your progress by. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. Okay. But to say that you can never be better than anybody else, that's so. That's a huge statement to make. Yeah, um, it is because wrong. I really believe that's in that wrong. shit. Bro, uh, my clients call me Mr. Clutch. I know for a fact. I know for a fact that they just say it because, because I just fix their vocals. But I know also for a fact that there is already someone who can do a better job than me. And that's just the reality of things, bro. So to to them, I could be great, but I know that I'm not because I know. That there's someone better than me, and I'm kind of scared that I might lose my client. <laughs> no, I want to get back to this thing. That, see, okay, so here's the thing, dude. That's a that's a mindset. Mm-hmm. Okay, the mindset that you have. Mm-hmm. I believe there's something called a fixed mindset. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. that's a limiting mindset. Mm-hmm. You're pulling yourself back. I'm not pulling myself back. Well, do this. Okay, so if. You can never be the greatest at anything. Why even bother doing anything? There's no because I like doing it. That's the whole point, isn't it? What's the point of life, dude? You just do stuff that you like. Not necessarily. People. Yeah. A lot of people don't do things. That yeah, exactly. Do. Like, do things that, that is sad. That is sad that you know, like, not all of us can do whatever we like. I'm fortunate enough that I could do what I like and be happy with it. And I know that there are a lot of people who can't do do that. It's most mostly because of like financial shit, but that's what it is, bro. That's just it. No, nah, bro. So that's you do that's it. You what do I'm it because you. you like it, dude. That's it. Like I, like I don't think that you need like any like sort of deep explanation for for that. I do mixing because I like it. I write songs because I like it. I stream because I like it. Like there isn't like any like deep meaning behind it, that like not everything has to have like some deep root ru- rooted like, you know some crazy crazy like uh, uh like meaning or some shit like behind it. You do it because you like it, bro. It's as simple as that. Like why do you do art? It's just because you want to be great or it's just because you want to like it, not want to like it or you like it. It's because you like it or you want to be great. Which one comes See, first? Dude. Okay, here's the thing. Okay. <clears throat> oh, I'm going to tell you something. Mm-hmm. Okay. I do it because I like it and because I'm great at it and I'm getting better. Exactly. But th- okay. th- does that does that fit with the definition of greatness? The great part? I didn't say I'm great at it. I didn't say I'm the greatest. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay. Go Dude, on. like, you, see, here's the thing, okay? <clears throat> mm-hmm. You have, like, really wrong definitions of certain words. Mm-hmm. And then you make this claim that the definition is flawed. Mm-hmm. It is though. I'm not gonna change my mind, dude. <laughs> yeah, that's no matter so what, because I know, when, yeah, I know so that unless, when it's flawed, I get like if I'm if if I, I'm okay. So here's the thing: I'm not like that. Mm-hmm. If I'm wrong with something, mm-hmm. if I'm wrong, I accept it and I will change my mind. Oh, definitely, definitely. Okay, but I'm gonna need to get like certain amount of proof. Mm-hmm. Okay, if I see proof that I'm wrong, I will accept it. And but I, I just change. explained to you okay? the facts, but, though. Okay, so here's the thing, okay? Mm-hmm. IQ, mm-hmm. all right, is fixed, apparently. Right? Okay. So, But it doesn't necessarily mean that people with a higher IQ, people with the highest IQ are the greatest people. They, yeah. Not necessarily, but they do have a higher chance of success. And all of that... I, I don't mean, know why I said that. I that is not true. I have a pre- pretty like above average uh, IQ. Look at me. <laughs> okay. What about? Uh, I'm not. I'm not anywhere. I'm not anywhere when I want to be or like where I want to be. Like my the success. So why is that? Like, have you defined where you want to be? Yeah, I, I have. Except is I not have. here. I have. Except is not here. 
I have. So where I want to be is, I, I've mentioned to you, to be like, like streaming, main income from streaming, and like writing songs. And right now, the only so income are, I have like, been getting is from like mixing. If you down into steps, what are the steps that you need to take for, for that? For what? No, this, the, these are not these be. are not steps for the thing. I'm just I'm just I'm just making a point that you said like people have higher IQ have more higher chance of like success, and I I think like that but is just I did that say is not dog always. shit. That but is just I dog did shit. Say not always. Yeah, that is just dog. Okay, no, you you said you said that. you took it back. You said like that's that's I don't know why I said that, but I'm just like yeah, I'm I did just say that. yeah I'm not gonna give but you I a step by step there. program or what I need to do in this podcast, bro. No, I'm not going to I'm not asking you to give me a step by step program. Mm-hmm. I'm asking you to give yourself a step by step program. Mhm. Yeah, I'm not going to do that over here. I'm not asking you to do it on the podcast. Yeah, you just asked me to do it. I asked do you have Yeah, do you like, have, do, have so you that's done it? Do you have a pro- thing for like you, to yeah, pu- pu- pushing the conversation forward and I had to pull it back. Anyway, here's the thing, right? You need to learn. You, I'm gonna get you a dictionary for your birthday. I don't need. Are a you gonna dictionary. cross everything out is, and say this, this is, is flawed? This is okay. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Right. Most writers don't get anywhere. Right. Because Most because they don't want to think anywhere. out of the box. Do you know what I mean? I'm not saying to change every word. I'm not saying black is red and blue is yellow. I'm not saying that. I'm not. I'm not being like you know stupid or anything. I'm just saying that some definitions out there is not right for the time right now. It's just flawed. Like the word greatness for example. And I know that you are a sucker for grammar and you like to have everything in order I'm just and all using that. the word in its right exactly. way. Exactly. I know you are like that and I knew I knew that you were I knew that you were okay. going to have some issues with it. Duh. But the way the english language has been established first of all is dog shit and the meaning there there are a lot of meaning that have that have like changed the word gay used to mean happy but that's not the point but that's not the point what i'm saying is greatness with the definition that you've given is flawed because that shit is unattainable it is unattainable perfection is unattainable what what is unattainable perfection is unattainable yeah perfection um, is unattainable yeah i and agree with greatness that greatness with that definition okay? is but unattainable too but you can achieve too. greatness but you can achieve greatness yeah okay i know you just need to that's what i that's yeah. what i just said that's what i just said uh, in the previous uh, love no, thing you just said thing. like just now that greatness is unattainable no no with your definition with your definition no that's the literal definition of the word i know but that definition is flawed and unattainable No but you but here's the thing dude you use it according to your subjective interpretation of what the person has done that isn't that what I what I just said though like that's the whole point I was trying to make like greatness you, is no, subjective No but here's the thing but it it's but the word itself is not subjective Okay I is what I'm I saying. I you know that use, but I'm I'm tell this is what I'm no, telling but listen what you, here what you're saying here, is the word here, meaning of the word has to be changed listen and that's here. what I'm arguing against listen, I know against that the, that's the, the argument <laughs> but what I'm saying is that definition of greatness is flawed and unattainable and that is it that is my point Because there is always someone better than you, regardless of how great you become, you can only be better than yourself uh, from yesterday. Does that make sense? Does that make sense? But yeah, that's my point. Writing down what you said. Yeah, write it down for the history books. <laughs> no, <laughs> I know you hate. I know you hate. Uh, Use words in the right freaking context, dude. 
This is see. This is my entire gripe, dude. Like, here's what happens when you start breaking down the borders between words. Mm-hmm. You're gonna break down the borders between reality, and we're gonna descend into chaos. It's coming. I believe in that. I believe in that. But and this is this is just one. Towards it. This is word. This is just one word though. That's I have like issues with. That's it. I don't have any issues with the other word. I'm fine with the rest of the word. I just find I just I just find it tough to accept. the meaning of some of the word because it's highly unattainable and that shouldn't be the case dude like superior doesn't necessarily mean the best i know okay and it doesn't necessarily mean that they are the best mhm i know that but they were better than a huge majority of the people in that particular field okay but that's a different word i'm just talking about greatness this is literally the same word it's not It is. It's not superior and greatness are two different things. They are not uh, synonyms. If you say greater and you say superior, they're the same. They're the same. Yeah, greatness yeah. and greater uh, are not the same word, though. No, but like if you look at the definition of the word greatness, it is greatness is a concept of a state of superiority. Mm-hmm. And that's what I'm talking about. Okay, and. Okay, so if you use the word superior, you definitely mean there's a hierarchy. Yeah, there is a hierarchy. Okay, okay, and and if th- that means like it's either a dominance or a competence hierarchy, mm-hmm. I believe the word competence hierarchy is a lot more clinically acceptable. Mm-hmm. It's uh, palatable to more people. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. So when you go to a hierarchy, it doesn't necessarily mean that everybody is competing in the same freaking structure of hierarchy. Mm-hmm. There may be others. Okay. All right, but people who are superior, mm-hmm. people who are great. Mm-hmm. All right. If you put people like them, okay, and you compare them, and you apply the word "great" mm-hmm. to the people who are better mm-hmm. than the others, mm-hmm. usually, mm-hmm. right? It doesn't necessarily mean that they're the best. Mm-hmm. Okay. It doesn't mean that they're perfect. Mm-hmm. Okay, but they've achieved something. Mm-hmm. Okay, and to us that seems great, and so we use the word "great" to explain that. All right, mm-hmm. but the issue is most people. But greatness requires work. Okay, it requires you to come and put in the work every single day. Mm-hmm. Most days without taking a break. Mm-hmm. Every single day, dude. I've drawn every day. Since two thousand and nineteen, two thousand and twenty, after my hands healed okay. from my thing, mm-hmm. okay, this is the amount of work I've been putting in. I've drawn thousands upon thousands upon thousands of pictures. Mm-hmm. The amount of circles I've drawn mm-hmm. will number easily in the hundreds of thousands. Mm-hmm. Okay, but I'm still nowhere to where I want to be. This is the work that you need to put in to become great, and it's greatness. Achieving greatness is not easy, and that's my entire point. All right. Mm-hmm. Greatness means becoming better than you were. Definitely better than what you were yesterday. No, 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 no. Definitely the, better than what you were yesterday. That's not the definition. That's not the definition. But it's dude, you can't become better than other people by b- no, before, no. Before I, I was speaking purely based off the b- definition. I Wait, just, I just told de- you gr- that's the that's the that's the definition uh, that I I gave it to you, right? It's subjective for you. For you, that is greatness, dude. Th- that's dude. This is the definition of the word greatness. Oh my god, we're not going anywhere with this. It's yeah, fine. exactly. Because you're not listening to Where? what I'm saying. I am the listening to you. I meanings, am listening to okay? you, and, and you I'm, can't I'm, just change the meaning because it doesn't suit you. Because the word can change over time because people use it to mean something else. Mm-hmm. Okay, but it has to reach a tipping point. It has to reach an acceptance. Okay, and there's there's a, there are models that describe this in consumer behavior. Okay, mm-hmm. you need to reach a penetration point above ten percent, where it starts, where not just the early adopters and not just the pioneers mm-hmm. have adopted the product. Mm-hmm. 
or the meaning of, of a particular word mm-hmm. and that's when it starts spreading once you cross 10% of the population it starts spreading mm-hmm. by itself mm-hmm. right that's you go beyond earlier you go beyond the pioneers into the early adopters and from the early adopters you reach the mass market mm-hmm. you, uh, you reach the um early majority and then the late majority and then you reach you know then the freaking thing uh, there's a fall in the what so you think uh, that that just turns, began like by the whole 10% just like starting and changing the word it has to start from one person yeah bro but you can't just change things like that okay maybe that's, that's what the other people said to the other person who started doing it I just, I still feel the definition is flawed. It still is flawed. Because you're using the wrong way to describe it. I'm purely speaking based off of the definition that you've given me. Dude, like okay, so you say that you're describing something else but you're describing it as you're using greatness as a word to de- for the wrong description. What you're talking about is perfection. All right, and this whole thing about nobody's ever you you're gonna you're not gonna be the best ever, mm-hmm. right? Does that mean like you stop trying? We've do, we've gone over this. You said no, you do it before because you like it. Yeah, that should be your main point, dude. Like if you don't do because you like don't like it and you, because you just want to be like quote unquote great, then what like what's the point? You're just gonna be like like miserable the rest of your life, cause you're never gonna be great. Like not in that context. You're never gonna be like greater than somebody else. There's always gonna be somebody else like greater than you, and that's just my point. Dude, just because you do something you like, just because you do something that's easy and fun, do, so doing certain things mixing is, is not difficult. easy, dude. Mixing is not easy. Yeah, I did, I not, did easy, not say bro. mixing is easy. I did not say songwriting is easy. I did not say streaming is easy. It's not. It's not easy. It becomes less easy because you like it. It becomes e- easier because you like it. Because mm. you're putting It's be- it becomes less easier because you like it. No. What? It's be- it becomes less easy because you like it. What do you mean it becomes less easy? Do you mean it becomes more difficult because you like it? No. Yeah. So why do you say it becomes less easy because you like it? What do you mean? Th- th- that's what you just said. Mixing is not easy. It's not it easy. It becomes less easy because you like it. Yeah. Do you mean that because that what you're saying is it becomes difficult because you like it? No, it becomes easier. Yeah, so it becomes e- yeah, you're using the wrong words again, my man. Oh, did I? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you all this time, dude. Oh, my bad, my bad. It becomes gonna, easier my because you like it. I'm going to put my headphones down because I'm sweating. Because my brain refuses to comprehend this. Listen, listen. That's just one mistake, okay? I can't hear you I'm, because my headphones are down. I need to breathe. Uh, so mixing I need to bang my head on the wall. Mixing ah! is not easy for me, right? It becomes easier because you like it. mixing streaming right like writing so i made one mistake okay i'm a human got me some slack i just had my allergy medication we- anyway <laughs> so <laughs> just just before this podcast i had an allergy medication but i still stand okay i'm not being stubborn here okay i i am a little bit stubborn here but i still stand on the greatness thing Cuz like being better at someone you can be better at f- with one person but also at the same time you can't be the the best with the definition the greatest it's unattainable okay, cuz someone is always going to be okay, better than you be- wait, superior listen, here's the thing yeah. not necessarily okay mm-hmm. now if we're going to talk about this you keep speaking about you can never be the best you can never be the best you can never be the best mm-hmm. let's talk about it in real time terms all right sure. to be better than you to be one of the best right you need to be in the top 0.100.1 percentile true. It means you're better than true, pretty much true. everybody else true. in that field mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. it's not impossible 
is just very very difficult mm-hmm. okay it requires long hours of work it requires that you sacrifice a lot of things mm-hmm. but it's not impossible mm-hmm. and it becomes easier if you have an inborn a huge interest a drive exactly and some sort of shall we say inclination if you I, I like it to, to put it talent. in simple I terms to use the word talent what to put it in simple terms if you like it if you like it and you put in a huge amount of work mm-hmm. a huge amount of work beyond what most other people do mm-hmm. you'll have to give up a lot of things okay then you can become that one percentile but wouldn't you mean you can whatever. become the best exactly i'm using literal statistics to say that you will be better than mm-hmm. anybody else in the given field mm-hmm. but here's the thing though saying? here's the thing somewhere along the line there's going to be someone better than you so does that mean that your option to choose this to be the best right now is worthless it's not i'm not saying it's worthless yeah. See you so, you're like here's the thing you're like what what I'm saying whatever I'm saying right you you're like taking it the wrong way I'm not saying that whatever like you are doing way. and whatever you're working towards is like it, it makes it seem like I'm saying it's worthless that's not what I'm trying to say because it's not because because like wherever you are right now creatively like doing like whatever not just like creative like you you Okay. You reach that. So I'm not problem. saying I'm not saying that whatever you're trying to attain is like worthless. That's not what I'm trying to say. Like wherever you are right now is because you worked your ass off all this while till this point. Or not. People can be in a particular position. But yeah, yeah, doing sure, sure. Well. That I'm that too. Like, you know, but like people who work their ass off, you know where you are right now, right? That's because you worked your ass out. Like you might think like you you haven't like progressed anything, but think back, think back, say like compare three months ago or like yourself. five months ago, yeah. and see where you are now. Compare like yourself from five months ago and now. I'm sure you have like progressed in some way. I'm sure you have like advanced in some field. somehow like somewhere like it, it, like you can't you can't just say like oh i'm i'm like nowhere like if you're doing something every single day you're bound to improve i'm not saying that like l- like none of that is like w- like worth anything no no you mean i'm not saying that's not worth anything mhm that's what you mean yeah, yeah yeah i'm not saying that you know it's not worth i'm not saying that like whatever you're doing is like in vain i'm not yeah. saying that you know But what I'm saying is that literal definition of greatness is flawed. Okay, see in Valorant, right? You see the top le- le- leaderboard, right? Say like say okay, I'm just going to say a random name, I don't even know. Say like speaker speaker 420 was the first in top, right? In top in one of the re- regions, right? Okay. And he's not going to stay on top or But she's not going to stay on top. But he was going to be he Okay, so here's the thing. All right, he was on top for a while. Mm-hmm. So when you take a particular time period, you can say mm-hmm. from this time to this time, this guy was the greatest. He was number one. No, you would say this guy was the best, not the greatest. You can say the best with also. that definition. With that definition, in that I'm, I'm, dude, I have like, a gripe with that de- like time. definition. That's why, <laughs> dude. Like when we say goat. Look okay I'll give you an explanation Napoleon the great Yeah Right Okay What like is he still the great now Yeah he's still the great his name is literally Napoleon the great I mean he's still the great now like yeah. his achievement Yeah No because Alexander, he's dead Why it's still great He's dead His achievements are still great But right now dra- yeah it's still great. I'm I'm speaking based on the fact <laughs> of the literal definition of greatness. You can't you there's always going to be someone better than you. That that is my point. It doesn't point. matter dude like Napoleon is still one of the greats when it comes to strategy. Okay, but is he still the great now is what I'm asking you. You mean the greatest? Whatever great or greatest. Dude like this is what I keep saying you need to learn how to use your words. 
because this is co- <laughs> there's a difference between great and greatest um, i have made my point i'm like uh, you did, you I, I sound <laughs> i sound like a broken record you do i i you I know, just I'm not gonna I'm not I'm not gonna do this anymore. We're gonna talk about cover songs. No, I we're mean, done. It's, it's, I'm done. I think we're I've done. exhausted we're done. myself. My brain is yeah, done. Yeah, I've I've exhausted myself too. No oh, man, I need to play some Valorant or some Apex to wash this. I think uh, here's the thing, right? Yeah. I I feel like all writers need to start thinking out of the box. And just start <coughs> using words differently. That's what like personifications are for. That's what like uh uh metaphors are for. That's what like oxymorons are for. See, dude, there's something called a poetic license. You can do that in your music. I am using my poetic license you can't in my real all life. The time because you that's can't not do anything poetry. about it. I can't. You have a problem with me? I do. Come at me, bro. No, with you. Come just at the way me you with your grammar. Words. Okay. Uh, speaking of like how to use words, uh, I just uh, this is this is this is not like relating to anything. I'm gonna I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you how my brain works. Okay, I'm gonna tell you how my brain no, works. Before you say something, I want to make a joke. Okay, sure. Go okay? ahead. It would have been fun if at the end of all this, guys, this is why it's important to use an app like Grammarly to make sure you're using it. <laughs> yes, <laughs> oh, Grammarly, I mean, just uh, sponsor us. Sponsor us, bro. Just sponsor like, us, man. You have an entire yeah. episode. It would yeah. be perfect. Okay, we can just like clip it. You know, it's it's funny that how articulate I am when I'm like writing. Okay. But when I speak, sometimes I know that I don't make sense. Uh-huh. But okay, here, here's here's like my thought process, right? So when I speak, right, most people don't know this. My, <coughs> our friend here, my friend here knows this. But this is this is what I do, right? If you guys must have like, if you if you guys must have picked up, you know, if you heard the podcast, you guys must have, must have picked up that I I stammer, right? Yeah, okay. I stammer, I stutter, stammer, whatever, whatever, however you want to call it. Um, so because of that, I have a, a fear of people laughing at me while I'm stammering. The huge fear, right? Uh, so, so what I do is I have a whole plethora of uh, vocabulary in my brain. Okay. I've stored it. <clears throat> so the words that I stammer, right? I would switch it with a synonym. Yeah. Okay. So, coming back to the point of uh. You, uh, you are uh, speaking about Jordan, Jordan Peterson saying like think before you speak. No, I, didn't I say think, think ten thousand times. I, I say I say it like you need to I be think able to think and exactly use words. whatever. Not I'm in- not saying that you said that to me. I'm just saying that whatever you said I by Jordan Peterson. What speak, I'm saying is dude. I think ten thousand times before I speak because I want to make sure that I get my full sentence across without any stuttering or stammering. <laughs> and that is that is already hard as it is. I'm like used to it now. I'm not saying that be feel, feel sorry for me. I still stand by the greatness thing. I'm not saying I'm not giving any excuse. But this is as a side note that I want to share with y'all. It's uh, something that I I won't say struggle with, but it's something that is a little bit of a hiccup for me. And sometimes it uh, it breaks my brain. And when I when I speak right. If if one sentence does not make sense, that means somewhere along the line, I'm my brain is trying to switch out like words with like synonyms. And in turn, making making the the sentence kind of jagged and fucked and senseless. But that does not mean that I don't stand by what my definition of greatness is. You know what? I'm done with this. I'm just I'm, I'm just giving you a, you a side I'm note. I'm gonna gift you a dictionary for your birthday. I don't need a dictionary. Uh, if you have any, um, if you have any comments on how to use the word uh, greatness or any other word, uh, let us know in the comments. Uh, we're just putting this on uh thing, right? YouTube too. Yeah, YouTube, not Spotify. I don't. I genuinely don't know how to put a podcast on Spotify or Apple. Yeah. I don't know that. I've researched it. I don't know how the fuck they do it. <laughs> but yeah, you can't put it in your normal like uh, di- uh, distribution distribution like service, which is weird. I thought you'd be able to do that. But yeah, those are just for songs. 
not for podcast. Maybe there is like a different <coughs> thing for podcast. Yeah. We'll figure it out. But when we figure it out, we'll, you'll see all the episodes there. Uh, anyway, uh, I, I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, there was some heated uh, conversation there, but it's all good, you know. Uh, the whole point is to have a certain sense of like back and forth. Can't just keep saying like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be interesting? No, it won't be. All right. Uh, Thanks for joining we'll see us you in the next we'll podcast. See you in the next episode. There may be better quality. I hope I'm looking for it. It's good. Yeah, be fun. he's getting a new mic. Nice. Whee! I don't have to. I don't have to like remove his white noise anymore. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, yeah. What tomorrow? No. Uh, we'll see next you week. next Friday. Yep. And yeah, uh, have a great time. You too. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, thanks. Stay, thanks amazing. Stay amazing. All right. See you. Bye. Bye.